This is Ellensburg Amplifier Repair and Service. Thank you for tuning in. I just thought I'd let you know that I am not a professional at video videos. I'm not a professional at making videos. I'm uh, just starting out doing my best here, so please bear with me. So what I have here today is I have an HIP 4080 evaluation board. This is to diagnose good versus bad HIP 4080 ICs. That's what you'll find in the outputs of some Class D amplifiers. Just to give you a quick rundown of this board, uh, this is uh, a pre-built board that you can purchase. You can find through Mauser. Um, comes pre-assembled with the, uh, the CD 4069 forward. It is all pre-assembled. You do have to supply an input, which I built an oscillator circuit out of a 4558 dual op amp and a couple discrete uh, components here. Um, it is oscillating at about 370 hertz, which on most Class D amplifiers, you know, you're looking at 250 hertz. So I figured I'm just in the top range of the maximum of typical Class D amplifiers, uh, not including like the tar amps, the full range Class Ds. So as you can see on the picture above here is the scope. You can see the settings. You should be able to see the settings at least. So this is the HIP 4080 that came with the board, um, which obviously is a good 4080. You'll see that I do have channel A brought down below zero on the scope just to help uh, clearly identify the A and B channels on the scope. Otherwise, it kind of all blends together, so it's kind of hard to see. So I'm helping to clarify that. Uh, what I'll do is I will show you a new HIP 4080 versus an HIP 4080 that is either faulty or fake or counterfeit. Let me uh, turn the supply off and we will uh, swap out this 4080 for another 4080 IC that I have uh, right here. And we'll get that installed. Just as a reminder, if you do set up a 4080 evaluation board, always remember to remove your high voltage power from the transistors. Because if your drive is not functioning properly, you will, you will overheat these transistors. We've got the power off. You can see it on the scope. Uh, you can see channel A is slightly below zero. I'm going to remove this IC. I know I don't have an IC puller, but if you are careful enough, you can pull these out pretty easy from the socket. So I'm going to set that aside, and then I will put in a 4080. This is a 4080 uh, IP made in Malaysia. Uh, pin 1 to pin 1, as you normally would for any IC, proper pinning. So we'll just slide that in there. Alright, so now the 4080 is in, that is in question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove my probes. Since I removed the high voltage from the transistors, um, you won't be able to see the output since I don't have anything going to the transistors. So we're going to fire up the uh, control power here and we're going to probe just the the gates of these and you'll see on uh, channel B the high and low that channel A of the scope is at the zero volts and the B low side drive is actually at 12 volts which is your con which is the control power and then you're going to see that on channel A the high and low that we do have oscillation, um, which my scope is not triggering correctly because it's set a little high, but you can see that channel A is oscillating as it should. Channel B is not, which tells me that this IC is either fake, counterfeit, rebadged, or just sold as being good. So then uh, we'll turn my 12 volts back off, 
we'll pull this back out of here and I'm going to install the good 4080 in its place I will hook up my power and I will reattach my probes and then we should be able to start it back up and there's the drive so it does go to show that this particular platform here will test an HIP 4080 to know if the outputs are good or not. If you were to install this chip into an amplifier you will burn out the channel B output transistors um, which could send you on a wild goose chase or chasing a ghost when in reality it's probably your 4080 that's bad or fake. So I hope this was educational and help you understand that you can test these ICs relatively easy with uh, just a couple components and a test board. I do thank you for watching and if you like to follow Amplifier Repair please like and subscribe and uh, keep your eye out for more content to come. Thank you.